Example 5.4. In this example, we have an incompressible laminar water flow which develops in a straight pipe with a radius r. At section 1, the velocity profile is uniform and the velocity is equal to a constant value u and is parallel to the axis everywhere. At section 2, the velocity profile is axisymmetric and parabolic. The formula is given by this equation. With zero velocity at the pipe wall, and maximum value at the center, which is equal to u max. We need to determine how u and u max are related to each other, and what is the average value of the velocity at section two, and the value of u max um, and u v two, how they are related to each other. For this example, we set the control volume using this boundary, and we have to control surfaces one at section one, which is an incoming, and two at section two, which is outgoing. We we'll start the analysis with the RTT for mass for a control volume, which is the continuity equation. For this case, the first term is going to be equal to zero since we have a steady case. For the second term, uh, this is going to be a split into the two control surfaces. For control surface number one, we have velocity to be uniform and constant. However, for section two, we have a variable velocity. So we cannot uh, reduce this integral into the uh, summations as we had it before. So we split it into the two control surfaces that we have. Control surface number one and control surface number two. For the first control surface, since we do have a constant and uniform velocity, this integral simply becomes the mass flow rate at point one, and because it is incoming, we have it to be negative. For the second control surface, we keep the integral, and the, uh, the uh, limits of integration are going to be from zero to r, and we replace density, we replace the velocity, using the formula that is given on the problem, which is equal to u max, one minus r, r square, and then this simply becomes dA, and is equal to zero. Notice that the formula for the velocity is in terms of r, and also the limits of integration are in, in as a function of r. However, the integral is in terms of dA. Therefore, we need to change the variables of the integration. We have that the area of a pipe is equal to pi r squared. To transform the area into the radius, we simply use the formula dA is equal to 2 pi r dr. And we substitute it into this equation. So we have minus m1 plus the integral from zero to r rho u max one minus r over r square and this becomes two pi r dr and this is equal to zero. Please note that this process always has to be done whenever the velocity it is not constant we replace the velocity dot n with the uh, velocity profile that is given. And always the a for a circular pipe is replaced by two pi r dr. So now let's go into substituting the information and uh, solve a little bit of this uh, equation. Uh, uh, m dot at one is going to be equal to minus rho v1 a1. And then this is, we're able to take the quantities that are constant. Density, 2 pi, our constant, so we could take them out. 2 pi rho, and we integrate from 0 to r. To simplify this formula, we're going to multiply it up. And so we could write simply u max, and this becomes one times r becomes r minus r cube r square dr is equal to zero. 
Let's now do the integration of this particular form. To simplify this equation, notice that we could cancel density from both sides, and also we could take u max out of the integral. So let's now do the integral, which simply is 0 to r, and then this is r minus r to the third, r squared dr. This integral becomes r squared divided by 2 minus r to the 4 over 4 r squared from 0 to r. This simplifies to r squared divided by 2 minus r squared divided by 4. And if we solve this, this becomes r squared divided by 4. Let's substitute this solution of this integral into this part over here. This becomes minus b1 a1 plus 2 pi. And the integral after we do the substitution becomes r squared 4 times the velocity u max. And this is still equal to 0. We know that the velocity at point 1 is equal to u. And we know that the area at point 1 is simply pi r squared. So we substitute. We have minus u times pi r squared. And this becomes, this becomes pi r squared 2 u max. And that is equal to 0. We cancel the things that are similar, pi and pi, r squared and r squared. And then we notice that uh, u is equal to u max divided by 2. So this is the relationship between the velocity that we have on the entrance, which is u, and u max, which is the center line velocity at section 2. The next step is to evaluate how the average velocity at point 2 relates with the maximum velocity at point 2. In order for us to be able to find the average velocity at point 2, we will use volume flow rate. We know that Q1 is equal to Q2. And for any time that you're using volume flow rate, we use the average value at each of the locations. Therefore, we said that A1 v1 and we're going to just put the average so that we're consistent a2 v2 since the value of the velocity is constant and uniform at point one we simply write that v1 is equal to u and we also know that u is equal to u max divided by two so we substitute this into this equation we have a1 and we have the u max divided by 2, a2, and the average value at 2. Since this is a straight pipe, the value of the diameter is the same throughout the two sections. Therefore, the area at point 1 and the area at point 2 are the same, and we could cancel them. And it gives us the relationship that u max divided by 2 is equal to the value of the average velocity at point 2.